We are currently out at Mines and Meadows, out in PA, just on the border of PA and Ohio. I got the mini quad out because why not? He's still pumping his bike. Oh yeah. Feels good to be out. This is the first time taking the TRX 90 out on an actual trail. And this thing is way underpowered for what we're out here with, but that's the best part is trying to get into it and explore a little bit. is exactly what we're going to do. So we got this thing home within a day, had it cleaned up, ripped off the front fender, and it's pretty beat up, that's fine. But let's go ahead and tear into this thing. It's funny when you actually break down this bike because it doesn't have an electrical system. So it's really simple. You literally have a gas tank that's fed into the carburetor and into the motor, and that's it. Literally a wire for your ignition and you're good to go. So we went ahead and got everything unplugged and undone and then started to pull out the motor because, of course, because we have to, for science, electrical work. That's the best part. Tear this thing out and then we get to really have some fun with it. And all that we're left with is a big pile of parts that we'll no longer use. They're probably just gonna end up in a landfill. And then the motor, sitting on the ground, our blank slate, ready to go and swap whatever we want into it. My lovely wife doing her nails. This is moral support, I appreciate you. And back to the bike is an awesome blank slate. Cannot wait to get this thing rolling. But first, we need to wash it. So I went ahead and did that, cleaned it up a little bit, didn't scrub too much, but at least got it going, and then cut the main bracket on the left side. Reason being is the motor itself is round, so it has to fit in there. And you can see here kind of how far into it we went, cut a little bit of divot so that the circle can fit inside, and then bam, we have the motor mounted. It fits nicely. I do have to adjust quite a bit here, but this gives us a rough idea for templating and how it needs to fit up in there. The bottom does hit the frame, so I will have to raise that a little bit. But again, for a rough draft, I'm really happy with this. And it fits nice and straight in line with the frame. Next, I went ahead and put a piece of tape across the frame just to give me my rough line for how far forward the battery can go where it meets the motor. It gives me enough room. And then I marked the mounts for those two tabs straight down. They're rough by hand. I didn't actually measure with a micrometer or anything, but I need to put a bracket here so that that can't roll forward and backward. So those will be my mounting points for that bracket. Up front here will go the battery up to the top of the frame. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I did 3D print some stuff super awesome for templating i just got this and it's going to prove very very helpful with all of our future builds this is a rough side cut of the qs motor that we're using and i used that to get the template for the actual brackets that are going to be vertically held into the motor down to that bottom plate so we cut those out and then went ahead and mocked them up and as you can see here i did have to dremel a little bit just because it's again rough draft i went ahead and cut a two-piece system into the floorboard. It basically allows me to space the motor up and mount to that bottom bolt hole while keeping the battery on a completely different plane. It's about a quarter inch lower, so this works out really, really well. I might weld this in time, but I put these holes in just for U-bolts so I can template it and kind of keep everything straight. When the motor's mounted, you can see I can't actually use this top bolt hole, which is what these brackets are for. It allows me to tie those top mount bolts into this lower section. There is obviously a gap here, but I'm gonna fix that up in future iterations. That just gives me a rough idea to template everything. Otherwise, really, really happy with how this is going. I think we've come a long way in just, I don't know, really three, four days of doing this. And we'll see what next video brings. Thank you guys for hanging out. And if you haven't subbed, make sure you do so. I appreciate you guys. Have the best day ever. Goodbye. Yeah.